You have accomplished a very difficult task. Acadiana veterans of World War II will forever be in your debt. Thank you. Respectfully, James W. Davi, Lieutenant, United States Navy, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. You and your volunteers allowed a few old men to enjoy a day in the sun again. This homecoming was a very emotional moment for me compared with the one when I actually returned to the United States from Japan in 1946. When I returned home from Washington in 2008, I was met by a band, a general, and a large crowd. But best of all, my wife, children, and grandchildren were there. It was truly a wonderful and emotional experience that I'll remember the rest of my life. Thanks from an indebted veteran, Herbert J. Hernandez. I've written it 84 times and it always comes out the same way. Thanks. When I walked down the escalator, I felt 10 feet tall. One word is not sufficient, but I'll repeat it. Thanks. Earl J. Brown. I probably would have never made the trip on my own. You have touched a countless number of lives in this enormous act you have put in motion. The highlight was seeing the crowd of people, including my family, when we got back to Lafayette. May God bless you and reward you. Sincerely, Joe Corville. Honor Air was one of the most memorable days for me and about 90 other veterans. The respect we were shown here and in D.C. was more than we could ever imagine. There are no words to express the feelings we all felt upon departure from Lafayette Regional Airport. You and your entourage made us all feel like kings for a day. We truly felt the 1940s were worth every miserable hour spent overseas. Thank you, truly and sincerely, and God bless you. Respectfully, Anthony Pitt.